sorry if the lighting isn't quite um, up to par in this video, but I thought I would do this video in a more fitting place in my house, which is actually the home office that we have. We have one desk sitting here with one computer. We have another one over there that should be going soon. Um, we're going to give that computer to my grandma, actually, and it's got two monitors sitting on the desk. So <clears throat> we will likely try and hook um, a, a dual monitor up to this computer once we're done. But I would just like to get started. Um, I don't really want this video to have a long intro, but pretty much what I'm making a video on is ways that you can make money from home that I have been doing my research on. I've been doing my research on this just to see how I can make extra money from home. And then that way I don't have to spend as much on daycare. I can be at home more um, with Sophia. And who doesn't want that? So. Pretty much the biggest thing that, obviously, YouTube. Tons of people make loads of money on YouTube. Um, I'm not saying that if you make a YouTube channel, you will make loads of money. I'm just saying people have. Um, there is, like, the family YouTubers. You've got the beauty um, YouTubers. Like, think of um, Ellen Blair. Like, they've, like, completely skyrocketed. They started on YouTube. So, really having a YouTube channel you have to have patience you have to be on a schedule like it doesn't seem like oh I'm just gonna work on YouTube I don't have any commitments but yes you do um, I'm actually really bad for this um, I've been really sick the past couple weeks and for two weeks I haven't even been able to upload a video I've been filming them but I haven't actually been able to sit at the computer and edit them because I've been so busy between getting sick and being with Sophia. So you really do have to work on a schedule when you're on YouTube. If, even if you're going away, you have to pre-film those videos, pre-upload them, and you can do a scheduled set time to make them go live. That is your key to getting more subscribers is to always upload your videos when you say you're going to make sure you're doing videos that is targeting towards who you're trying to target it to so if you're making videos about baby product reviews then you want to make sure that your headlines catch the attention of mothers if you're doing an Ulta haul or a Sephora haul or something like that you're gonna make sure that you are pointing towards women and teenagers and girls and that's pretty much your key to success on YouTube is just to be YouTube like in your life that's what your main focus is on if you want to be a successful YouTuber so the second way that I have to make money from home is blogging many people have made money from blogging but once again same as YouTube you have to do post when you say you're going to you have to make your posts interesting you don't want to make them long you don't want to ramble and you want to make sure that they are lengthy enough. YouTube, you can monetize your videos through Google AdSense or once you hit so many subscribers, you can join a partnership with someone like Fullscreen or Beauty Bloggers or something like that, I think it's called. But So pretty much with a blog, you can only get accepted by Google AdSense for your blog if you have enough um, content to your blog posts if you have enough people watching your blog like they will make sure that your blog has been live for at least six months and that it's been live and filled with good lengthy amount of content so that took me a little while um, to actually get my blog um, sponsored by Google AdSense which it is now I will put a link in the description box below I do post on my blog the odd time I have been lately because I've been sick so it's been easier to lay in bed and type on my laptop compared to coming up and editing my YouTube videos. So the third way that I have found is definitely online surveys. Now YouTube comes in handy with this as well not by making money on it by searching. You always want to make sure when you're doing survey sites that you are surveying on actual legit sites that are going to pay you for your surveys. There are many scam sites out there, but two of the ones that I use the most are Opinion Outpost, which I will put in the description box below, same with Swagbucks. 
So the difference here is Opinion Outpost, they actually send the money directly to your PayPal account when swag bucks is actually, you get so many swag bucks for watching so many videos, for answering surveys, it works that you can go through swag bucks to Walmart or to Target or something and every dollar you earn two or three Starbucks per purchase. Starbucks. I need coffee. Swag bucks <laughs> per purchase. And on most things, like there's a lot of apps on Instagram that you see people promoting and it's so easy to get all of these points that you can turn into money. Yes, it is for them because I bet you that those people that are saying it's so easy have over 27,000 followers and they likely aren't even watching the videos or aren't even posting anything. They're likely just making the money off of the referral links, which people do and good for them. They likely make good money. But this site actually, I was on for one day and I already made 182 swag bucks. So it is actually pretty easy. But that's where the difference becomes in because your swag bucks turn into not cash, but gift cards that you can use and redeem online or they will send you the gift card. So that way it's a bit different. Opinion Outpost, you get the cash directly or swag bucks, you get the gift card. There are many other sites, but those are my two favorites. So another way, um, you guys have likely heard of Ebates. Um, Ebates is that commercial where it's like they're so happy they're sitting there and they're holding their big check, but you can't actually see how much is on it. So a lot of people at first thought this was a scam. Many people were very um, held back on actually signing up for it and trying it. I'm one of those people where I was like, screw it, I'm just going to try it. So I did. I linked um, my account up to it. And I am like really bad for shopping on Amazon. And so is Derek. So I wish Derek would shop through my Ebates because we could get so much money, more money through ordering. But I haven't set him up to that yet. But within my first two months on Ebates, I almost made $45. So you can actually earn money. You can hook up your bank account or they will send a check right to your home. It's a big er industrial um, size kind of check, but it is real. I have redeemed them before. It's not a scam. And I will put my link down in the description box below for you to sign up and just awesome. Like it's awesome. They've got the gap on there. They've got Target, Walmart, eBay, Amazon, um, Carters, like you can pretty much do all of your shopping right through Ebates and get money back in return. So the next one is apps. Tons of you guys likely have a smartphone. So there are many apps that you can make money from. I know like I think it's called Cricket or something and it's, and it's like a Q. Um, I'm pretty sure it was made in Canada. In Toronto I think so pretty much what you do is you get these points you bet a color blue or yellow you spin it and you win the amount of money that they bet for you to win um, I've seen some people win actually like a hundred dollars per spin I had no luck on it um, I say I'm a lot sorry I had no luck on it but I just I was sick of like it almost felt like it was catching me like every time I would switch a color then it would go to the color I had before but games of chance are always like that. People do win. Um, this is another app that people with a larger amount of followers and subscribers can make more money because of the every time you refer someone, you get so many more points and you get so many more dollars for referring people. Another way you can make money off of apps is grocery receipt snap apps. So Checkout41 is one, um, Snap Coupon is another one. I know there's a couple more and I don't remember them off of the top of my head, but I will all put all of these links and everything that I've mentioned will be in the description box below. But I know Checkout41 um, and now I don't even remember. Oh yeah, Snap by Coupon. They, if you have the items that are in their list, you just check them off, you snap a picture of their, your receipt, snap a picture of, like, make sure you have the entire thing in it with the date and time. You cannot use a previous receipt that, oh, look, I have that on my receipt from, like, five years ago. They will make sure it is within the last week or so. 
So that's actually a good way to make money. It is legit. They do send you money back for this. It's very easy for mothers because I find that the puffs, the little cheesy crunchy thingies, um, the cereals, like the cereal twists, those are all almost always on there. They always have them so where you can get money back from them. That is one of my favorite apps pretty much for making money back from grocery shopping because grocery shopping is that one time where you know you're about to spend over a hundred dollars almost every time unless you're one of those awesome people that can coupon like crazy unfortunately here in Canada we can coupon but we can't extreme coupon like many people say um, the ones you see on TLC with the extreme couponers or whatever I don't even think that's possible maybe it is in Canada maybe it is possible to do that but from what I know, you would have to pretty much purchase one thing with one coupon and then do like a million purchases and I just don't have time for that. <laughs> so another way and my final way to make money online from home is likely creating an online shop or offering online services. So when I say online services, I mean offering logo designs, offering web designs, offering um, blog posts for bigger companies, offering to be a marketing person for people like some people run very very high class popular blogs or popular websites that are attached to their blog or even attached to a Facebook page or stuff like that and they're too busy doing their job duties of shipping stuff out making the orders that they need someone to run their social media sites you could be that person all you have to do is market yourself Hey guys, sorry, my camera shut off on me. So anyways, as I was saying, there is likely tutoring sites that you can get where you don't have to do face-to-face, -face, but I haven't really done the research on that. I kind of suck at everything to do with schooling, so I kind of just bypass that whole section. But another way that you could do services is um, transcriptioning for online services. You can do medical, you can do... Um, I know... Normally, legal transcriptioning, you have to be there, you have to sign the contracts, you have to sign the confidentiality forms, that kind of thing. Um, I know that there is some online that you can do, and you just have to be a very, very fast typer. You have to be a very fast typer and a very good listener. If you're not either one of those, you likely won't do as good in this field, and that means that you won't make as much money as they say that you are able to make. So that is one of the services that you can do. Another way to make money, which this will be my final point, is to have an Instagram shop. If you guys have interest in crafting or making children's blankets or making children's bibdanas or making jewelry, making, I don't know, making anything, if you are a crafty person, you will likely be able to sell that through an Etsy shop which can you can connect to your Instagram. You can also use sites like Shopify. You can use... There's like millions of sites out there that you can use to sell your stuff, but I know Shopify is very popular. Same with Etsy. If you know of wholesale retailers, I know, um, I think it's like American Apparel, is all blank shirts, which you can order. I know people who have ordered those in bulk, taken them down to their local graphic designer or anyone like that to get them printed you could get anything on those and sell them as well online I know people who ordered from drop shipper wholesalers which is technically big companies like Rose Gal, Trends Gal, um, the people who supply the Wish app that kind of thing those are all wholesalers so pretty much a drop shipping program is where you take their products put them on your shop advertise them. When people put orders in, you will get the money and then take that money and put it towards the product on their website and it'll drop ship to that person. You put in their address that they put in on your order form. So that is what drop shipping is. You can also, if you have more of a startup fee, you can just order them in bulk, order them in at least one complete size run. You always want to have a complete size run. If you know what that is, then good. If you don't, it's extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and sometimes extra, extra large if it comes in that, which you always want to offer plus sizes because there are plus size people out there and 
they want clothes too. <laughs> so obviously you have to have complete size run if you're doing this form of wholesaling. So you order the wholesale, you have it in your house, set up a room that's an office. If not, your house is going to look like a bomb went off. That way then people can put orders in on your shop. You can do it by having them drop their email on a comment on the picture that they want with their size and you can send them an invoice to pay or you can set up your shop where they have a direct link to that shop. They can put their order in and you ship out that product. So there really is an endless amount of ways to make money using social media as you can tell. Social media is pretty much a drug to this world now. It can be handy at some times or it can almost kill you. So just use it wisely, make sure you're not getting trapped in any scams, and just be safe when making money from home. So I hope you guys liked this video. It was fun for me to do research and it was fun for me to make. I really enjoyed looking through all the different ways that I can make money myself from home and now I get to share them with you. So if you guys liked this video, thumbs up, subscribe, my Facebook and my Twitter are both in the description box below along with all the links that I have mentioned in this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you want more, drop a comment, let me know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!